I'm Mark Kelly and Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. In the past two Hydros videos, and if you missed those videos, the link is down there in the description. I showed you the Hydros launch, I set it up, including getting it on my Wi-Fi, and programming it in such a way that's going to cover the vast majority of saltwater tank setups out there. And if you stop there, you know what? You'd have a reliable aquarium controller monitor that would let you monitor and control your tank from anywhere you have internet access and prevent runaway heaters, or runaway chillers because it's all monitored and controlled by the Hydros. You know what? That's pretty dang good. But I couldn't stop there because there's just so much more to do with the Hydros, including things like dependencies and modes, which is gonna automate tasks on your tank, help you prevent breaking heaters, breaking chillers, and make caring for your tank while you're away super easy for your tank buddy. Let's talk about dependencies first. I really love these things. Dependencies are really easy. Think about it as follow the leader or a bunch of groupies. Whatever the main person does, everyone else is gonna do it too. So you can say, if this outlet does something, then these outlets that depend on that outlet are gonna do something as well. For example, this is one of the most useful things with dependencies. When your return pump turns off, then your protein skimmer turns off. This way as the water level rises in your sump, doesn't cause your skimmer to overflow. And then you can take it a step further and say, once the return pump turns back on, wait an amount of time for the water level in the sump to drop before you turn the skimmer back on. Ah, super useful, super easy. Now modes are a little bit different. It's like one touch does multiple things. For example, feed modes. Most of the time when you feed your tank, you turn off the return pump so the food doesn't go over the overflow or into the back chamber of your tank if you have an all-in-one and most people turn off their power heads. Instead of going off on the return outlet, off on the skimmer, off on the power heads, all you do is you set up a feed boat and then you tell those outlets to turn off or on, depending on what you want them to do, when you hit that feed mode. Then, when you go to your Hydros dashboard, you hit boom, feed mode, and all these things happen automatically. Super simple, makes it very easy, and it makes it easy for your tank sitter. Instead of saying, well, go into this app and hit all these buttons, and then turn things off, you can simply say, touch this one button, then feed the fish, and then walk away because everything will come on automatically afterwards. Who wouldn't like that? Okay, let's show you how to set these things up because it's super simple. Okay, if you think you need to know code to set up dependencies or to work with modes, you're wrong because Hydros makes it super simple as expected. So go up to your outputs, and I'm gonna go down to my skimmer because that's one of the easiest and most useful ways to use dependencies. So we're gonna go down here to depends on. Right now it says unused. So you're just gonna choose the outlet you want this outlet to depend on. So when the return pump turns off, we want the skimmer to turn off. So we're gonna choose return. And then what kind of dependency mode? Off, if off, and this is what we want for here. If the return pump turns off, then we want this outlet, the skimmer outlet, to turn off. You could also say, look, if this turns off, then I want that to turn on. Or if this one turns on, then I want something else to turn off, but we're just gonna keep it simple. When the return pump turns off, then I want this dependency mode to turn off. Now at this point, you could upload changes, you could be done. Okay, but we're gonna take it a step further and we're gonna say, once this return outlet turns back on, I wanna wait a certain amount of time before I turn the skimmer outlet back on. That way the water level in my sump can drop and prevent an overflow. So we're gonna go enable advanced settings and we're just worried about this top line here. Minimum off time, five minutes, eh, that's a little long. Tap the five and then we're just gonna dial this back to two minutes. Hit okay, hit upload. It's gonna upload it to the cloud and across all of the Hydros modules on my system. At this point we're done. We have programmed a dependency, all we gotta do. We're finished. That simple, no code. All right, let's talk about modes because they're even simpler than dependencies. If you look right up here on your status screen, you already have a couple already pre-programmed. Feeding normal water change. So feeding mode, you could press this one button here. Boom, everything that is programmed to go into the feed mode will happen automatically. One touch gets you multiple results. Now, how do we set that up? Well, there's actually two ways, and it's really simple, as you would expect with Hydros. So let's go back to our skimmer outlet, because we're picking on skimmer today. We're gonna go down here to active and modes, 
And these are simple check boxes. If the box is checked, then the skimmer is going to be on in that mode. So in this case, we want it to not be active in feed mode. We want it to turn off when we feed because when we're feeding, our return pump is gonna turn off. That would overflow our skimmer because our sump level would rise. Upload changes and done. Programmed that simple. Okay, there's another way to do it though. Let's go back into modes and then you can see we have three set up as default. So let's go into feed mode and we can then go in here and say which outlets are going to be active in the feed modes. We got simple radio buttons here. All we got to do is check one, slide it over here, update it, and we're done. There's some other things that you can do. You can change the LED colors on the Hydros modules if you wanted. So if you're in a mode, then you'll know. All right, we'll make them red. That was simple, easy thing to do. The other nice thing is you can have the mode timeout. In this case, after 15 minutes, feed mode is gonna turn off. That helps you, or more importantly, your tank buddy, tank sitter, help prevent having a mode go on endlessly. There's other things in here, but this is a basic look at it. That's all you gotta do to set it up. And if you wanna set up your own mode, you can simply go down here and create your own. Let's name this one custom, create. Then we have a wizard and we can go in here and say, hey, what do we wanna do with it? We've got our mode timeout again. We can make sure this doesn't run on forever. And then we have active units, set all, clear all, or just radio button, select the ones that you want active or on in that mode. Done, we have a new mode set up. Let's go back to status. And then here's our custom mode right up here on the top. We can change things around if we want. One touch gets you multiple things. And you see we have the timeout counter starting there. So we know how much more time we have left in that mode. At this point, we've set up dependencies, we've set up modes. That's gonna get you 90 plus percent way down the road working with those. Super simple, no programming needed. There you have it. There's dependencies and there's modes. Super useful, very easy to set up and make caring for your tank, especially for your tank sitter or your tank buddy, super simple. I'm Mark Callen, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Till next time, enjoy your tanks. Happy, I'm not gonna say programming because you don't have to do any programming. I'll catch you in the next episode.